Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to add a game to the channel that I've been waiting for for a while now and it just came out this Tuesday. I got it Tuesday. I've been playing it because I didn't want my first video on it to be an actual like first hand first look of me not knowing anything so I kind of wanted to get at least a video out that may be helpful to anybody just starting the game that I didn't want to look like I was a complete noob and didn't know anything about the game because I don't think that really helps anybody. <laughs> so I did start the game and today what we're going to do is I'm going to go into this company that I have running right now and we're going to run a route and I'm going to pretty much show you everything about the bus and we're just like to, to drive a route and you know we're just like to play the game but after this the next video that I do in this series is going to be I'm going to start a brand new company and we're going to kind of go through the missions together you know we're going to see we're just like to, to unlock the stuff in the game and uh, all that fun stuff and honestly I've been playing this game since Tuesday and I've been having so much fun with it it's such a simple game but it's just so much fun and I mean before we get into this I'm just going to explain that this is just kind of what it sounds like it's a bus simulator basically you're going to plan routes you're going to drive routes that's it that's the game okay so there's no real like management in here other than you can hire employees and you will have to sign buses to them but i mean like you don't have to worry about fueling your bus you know you don't have to worry about like um driving it to get it fixed or, or anything like that it's just driving you're you're going to create routes and you're going to run the routes you're going to pick people up and drop them off and for some reason it's totally satisfying and it's really fun so uh yeah let's just uh let's get right into it shall we okay so when you get into the game this is your route management and also your map so as you can see on the right hand side of the screen are my routes and I, I have no idea how many routes you can have but um these are just routes that I've made for like the missions and such so um if you press L3 you see that window comes up and that tells you your current objectives and what they are like right now I'm at I need to assign at least one bus driver and select CNG buses only um, I don't have the money to buy a CNG bus right now so that's kind of what I'm working for but but it's nice to that when it gets all done, it tells you right there, the reward is you unlock the southern area, and you get nice $75,000, and you get new ads for your bus, which we'll be talking about that probably not in this video, because that's kind of not too important for right now. I kind of want to wait till we get to to the, uh, the kind of series of this where I'm going through it, and I can unlock everything with you guys, and you guys can see, and then we'll discuss all that cool stuff. So... If you press the circle, you get over to here, and this is the company menu where you can see your statistics, your route planner, uh, your employees, the buses that I own, or the buses that you can buy. Uh, this brings you to multiplayer, which I have not tried yet. Your settings, and back to the main menu. Um, so, no, nope, go back to route planner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the cell spoke Astro Promenade route here because... This is 11 minutes. This is almost 11 and a half minutes. Uh, this is another 11 and a half minute. Then this is 10 minutes, 18, and this is a 35 minute trip. So this is the shortest one. So I kind of want to do this one right now. <clears throat> so we'll select it on that. And now in this game, you don't have dynamic weather or time of day. It's uh, you set it. Now you can set it to random. And then what that is, is that whatever it is when you start, your route that's what it'll be for that entire route so you have random you have day you have night rainy day dawn sunny and rainy which is an interesting is a pretty interesting one uh personally my favorite is uh nighttime day and dawn the rain uh, i've had a hard time with the rain that it doesn't look it's best and i'm not on a ps4 pro so that may be the problem but uh the night ones i absolutely love driving around at night i don't know what it is but that's just really awesome what we're going to do today is we're going to do day 
And now what we're going to do also is that we're going to take the quick start off. With the quick start on, that'll put your boss right in front of your first stop. I don't really want to do that. Um, if I must set it to off and we'll start at the bus garage and then I can kind of go through the things in the bus and stuff like that So I think that'd be better. Then you have your route settings where you could do a reverse I'm not particularly sure what the loop is uh, Because it's only off or on so I don't know if that's just Continuous non-stop forever. I don't really understand now the ping pong is basically a round trip so whereas if it's off You'll start at your first stop and go to your last stop, and then that's it. That's the end. Round trip, you'll start at the first stop, go to the last stop, and then all the way back again. A complete round trip. Now, generally, that's what I like, because you can generate more money off a round trip when it's on instead of off. But for this video, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do the regular standard trip from point A to point B. Free roam is free roam. It's just what it says when it's on. All the rest of the stuff is off, and you can just pretty much do whatever you want. Um, enable too early event. I'm not sure what that's about either. Um, I'm going to have to look into that, and hopefully next video I'll know more about what that is. Enable cashier. That's just your, your cash machine, which, you know, I mean, that's kind of part of the charm of it for me. Like, it's the driving... And giving people the tickets and the change and stuff like that. It's just, to me, that's that's kind of where it's at. That's the fun. Now, the simulation setting is you got driving simulation, simplified, and realistic. Simplified is no shifting. And you have a speed limiter that you could turn on and off. Where So basically, you, you can't speed. Although, you can speed. I don't really understand it, but... I've been to certain areas on the map that I've unlocked that with the speed limiter on, I've still gotten speeding tickets. So I'm not quite sure if that's a bug in the game or what. And another thing is that I guess PS4 and Xbox players, there are some that have been experiencing some pretty bad bugs with the game, especially crashing issues. I haven't experienced any of this yet. And I bought the game on Tuesday when it, when it was released. And I've been playing it quite a bit. And I haven't had any of those problems yet. Now, the developer did get on Facebook, and he did address it. He apologized, and, um, you know, he basically said that they're working as hard as they can. They're going to get the patch out. They're going to fix it. You know, it's just something that they can't just release. It is on Sony and Microsoft. They have to send it off to them, and then they have to go through their testing with it before they release it. But rest assured, they are fixing it. And they will be developing this game more. There's going to be DLC um, there's going to be more buses. All these buses are licensed in the game. And I know I feel like I'm, I'm rambling on, but it seems like there's just a lot to really talk about. But uh, all the buses in the game are licensed. So, you know, when it says Mercedes, this is exactly what this Mercedes Sitaro K would look like in real life. And on the PC version, they already have the airport DLC, which is a map expansion. Now, we will be getting that. Um... You know, they haven't said when, but they did assure us that we will be getting that soon after release of the game. Which, from what I hear, it's not that big of a deal because you can't unlock the airport in, like, story mode until you get to the very end of the story, which is quite long with the missions. I mean, not really story, but the missions. I guess it takes quite a while to get through all the missions to unlock that airport anyway. But you could do sandbox mode. And then you can kind of have the whole map open when the DLC comes out. Uh, so, again, simplified that in the realistic is that you don't have the speed limiter. And buses that are manual, you can shift. And I'm stressing that, that not all the buses in this game have manual transmissions to begin with. So only the buses that have manual transmissions, you'll be able to shift. And this does have wheel support. I, I believe it has wheel support for the Logitech G29. And a th Thrustmaster, uh, I'm not sure, but it does have wheel support. And hopefully I'm going to be saving up and I'm going to be getting a wheel because I want to play this game with the wheel and I'd really like to do Project Cars 2 with the wheel. Okay, so we're going to do that and let's get into the trip, shall we? Bus stop on your route is undergoing maintenance. Your route has changed as a result. Now, see, this is something that happens. This is something that's normal and this happens. It's just one of those things. There's a lot of events in this game they just pop up, they're completely random, to just kind of make them experience, um, 
more lively, I guess. Okay, so we just opened the door, and here's our bus. Let's just take a quick run around the outside of the bus, because we don't see the outside of the bus too much, because I like driving in first person. But that's our bus, as you can see, Mercedes Sotaro. I've got my custom plates on it, Shredhead Gaming. Get inside the bus, we'll take a look around. Doesn't look like the most comfortable seats in the world, but, you know, seats on a city bus aren't that comfortable. Now, this is what I'm talking about, that all these buses are fully licensed, so presumably, and like I say, I don't, I don't believe we have Mercedes um, in the part of New York that I live, because, the, but... Um, Presumably, if you were to, to enter a Mercedes Sotaro, you know, this is exactly what it would look like inside. Like, identical. Like, they, the developers even said that they have to send these models off to um, Mercedes and whatever other brands there are. Um, and they have to sign off on them, saying, yep, that's, that's okay. So, this cockpit, everything has to look identical. Okay, so we're going to get in the driver's seat. And no, okay. So now, once you get in here, you have a couple options. Um, you have kind of like a hot menu where if you press left on your D-pad, you have all this cool stuff here. And there's a lot of things that you could do. I'm basically you could do everything right through here, but we're not going to go that route today. So another way you could do is that you could actually zoom in on the dashboard. And you could do things. But now, you also have buttons on the controller that were things. Like, down on the D-pad engages and disengages your parking brake. The uh, the touchpad starts and stops the bus. Um, L1 and R1 are your directional signals. Your, your turn signals. Um, the square will open and close all the doors. Um... Right on the D-pad brings it to your your cash machine here, your ticket machine. Heck out of that. And if you press up on the D-pad, you zoom in on your dashboard here. So first thing we want to do is we want to start it up. So what you do is turn the key, lights come on, power's on, and then you're gonna press and hold this until she starts. There we go, she started right up. So what I like to do, because I am driving during the day, we're going to shut those lights off. Uh, we're going to turn the ticket machine lights on and the passenger lights on. Okay. Now, if you look up here, you have your passenger mirror. When you highlight that and press X, there you go, you can see the whole back of the bus, you can see your people and... You can say, hey, turn down the music, or stop standing in front of the damn door, because people do that. They'll, they'll block that door, and they'll listen to music loud, and yep, you'll have to deal with that. Press X again to get out of there, and you have a sun shield. You can pull that down if the sun's in your face. We don't need that. Press up again, and you have your windshield wipers, which, as you can see, they function. Uh, there's nothing over here. You got a window here that you can open up. I'll do that. Get some nice, nice air in here. You have a radio up here that you can play. I don't think you're going to hear it because... Yeah, I had the music turned down because it was a little loud and me trying to talk over it just... Yeah. Doesn't work too much. So we're going to just shut that off. So now again, with the square, you can close all your doors. Or you can zoom in here. And you can just do that. There we go. So I think we are probably ready to make our first stop. So go down here. Take the parking brake off. Now, I don't do that all the time. I'll, most of the rest of the time in the game, I'll probably use the uh, the quick controls on the D-pad for at least the park and brake. Uh, eh, possibly doors. I don't know. Okay, so let's proceed, shall we? K. 
Okay, so here we are on the open road. Nice bright sunny day. Okay, so we're going to signal because you got to remember to do your signals. This is this is a simulator after all, so you have to remember to do that. You got to try to drive nice and clean. You don't want to hit any curbs. You don't want to hit speed bumps. You don't want to hit potholes. Oh, I almost missed this turn talking. See that? God, that happens to me so many times in real life, too. I'll be talking to my wife and just completely forget where I'm going. <laughs> She'll be like, were we supposed to turn there? Yep, we were. All right, so we got a speed bump coming up. So you got to slow down for that. All right. Take that nice and easy. Beautiful. And continue on to our first spot here. So I'm using my controller and if I do some crazy things. I apologize, but my controller's getting really old and it's really starting to act up on me. I need to get a new one. It's, uh... When I let go of the left stick, it doesn't seem to center back to zero for some reason. But, like I say, it's, it's pretty old, so... But, yeah, so it's not... It's not like the game doesn't control smoothly. It's just me being a bad driver. Okay, so here's our first stop. So we're going to signal. And oh, look at that. I got buses all over here. So both these buses are mine. Okay, first stop. Nice. So what I like to do is I like to go out of the bus. See my nice park job here. Open the doors. I need to purchase several tickets. Several tickets. Okay, Batman. Okay, so we're going to press right on that controller. So now, duration, single, type regular, and it needs two. So, single, regular, two, and print. Dude, really? Okay, so he needs change. He needs $15.60. So we'll do this 50 60 and 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 and 15 is your change no problem all right so we're going to shut the doors have a quick look back make sure everybody's sitting all righty make sure we signal and away we go Stalker Square. First time I played this game, I thought they were saying Stalker, and I'm like, what the hell? What kind of game is this? Stalker Square, really? Well, I feel like I took that a little too wide, but it's all good. It's all good. So I noticed if you look in the rearview mirrors, there's a little bit of frame rate drop. But you know what? Like, this is a small game company. I'm pretty sure this is like an indie game company. And honestly, I think it's great. I'm just so happy that we're finally getting games like this on console. You know, I mean... It's just something that I feel that we really need on console. That they really need to get the ball together and be like, look at... You know, us console players, we want simulator type games. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. Of course it is. I'm a good driver, man. I need a ticket. Okay. <laughs> Single, regular, and one. 280, 250, 70, Thanks. and 80. No problem, dude. several tickets, please. Alright, sir. So he needs a day ticket. Senior. And he needs two. 920, huh? 
two, four, six, eight, nine, and Thank twenty. You. You're quite welcome. Right, shut the doors. Take a look. All right, y'all good? Y'all sitting? All right. Let's get on it. So yeah, like, I don't know what it is, but this game is just really fun. It's just, as I said in the beginning, it's just a simple game. I mean, there's not, you know, it is what it is. It, it definitely is what it is. There, there's nothing hidden in it. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a driving game. You know, you make routes, you drive the routes, you drop people off, you pick them up, you take their money, hire bus drivers, buy buses, and it's just so fun. It's just one of those games that you can just play for hours if you want to, or you can get into it and just play one route and, you know, take off if you need to. It's just one of those kinds of games. And I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I haven't had any issues with the game yet. A couple of frame rate drops, but it is what it is. All right. Thanks Everybody off. Central. Anybody need tickets? This guy? No. Okay, so. Nobody bought a ticket, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the doors, put some market brake on, and I'm going to go, I'm going to check. Because, you know, you got to check. Of course. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Ma'am? Okay. Of By course. you. Alright. Sure. Okay, so it looks like all these passengers have tickets. Oh, oh. You saw my ticket already. Oh. Okay, calm down. Jeez. Don't make me kick you off the bus. <laughs> Alright. Do a signal. You gotta check them though, because. If they don't have a ticket, it'll cost you money. So you gotta kinda be hard on them. You gotta crack down. All right, so this is the last stop. So let's slow down here. Don't start, lady. Use the indicator correctly. See, those are all things that they uh, they contribute to your route. They contribute to you getting your e your X XP and contribute to you leveling up. So like I say, you wanna you wanna make sure you drive good, you know. You don't want to scare your passengers. <laughs> I imagine this game would be a blast with a wheel, though. But like I say, again... Um... <laughs> it is. It's a blast. You ought to be driving it, lady. But, uh... Yeah, like, everything seems to be pretty smooth on the game, controls-wise. Like I say, my, uh, my controller is actually doing pretty good right now. I'm surprised. Okay, so Astro Promenade, that's going to be our last stop for this route. Okay, signal. We got to take a right here. I have a yield, so... Oh, he was turning... And see, she tells everybody, last stop, you gotta leave the bus. All right. Are you going to the old sawmill this Friday? No, sorry. I need to work on that. <laughs> so, obviously, this was a short route. And uh, somebody dropped garbage during a drive. Oh, see? Okay, so we're gonna go back in. And close that. And the garage is right there. So now, at this point... You can either choose to, to drive back to the garage, and I mean, no no matter what, like, wherever your route ends, you always have the option 
of driving back to the garage or you can press the left on the d-pad and you can just click and drive but obviously it's right there i'm just going to drive to it and again like in my perspective this is a bus simulator game it's it's a driving game so just for me i like to drive back to the garage you know i like to drive from the garage i like to drive back to the garage it's just you know adds to the experience i think okay signal signal bring it back to the garage and we'll clean the bus when we get in here there we go perfect okay so Park and brake on. Uh, turn these off. Um, we'll open the front door. Shut the bus off. Let's out. Oh, there it is, right there. It was that guy. See, see. He was the one that was getting kind of snarky because I wanted to see his ticket for a second time. So he left his trash. That's what I get. Alright, so you just leave the bus. And that's it. Your route is done. Okay, so it looks like we did a pretty good trip. Um, satisfaction. Uh, okay, now it's acting up. Yeah, see satisfaction, everything's good, and matter of fact, trip started at the bus garage, and trip terminated at the bus garage, so it looks like that you get, you get XP for that. So see again, uh, six times you use turn signal correctly, got good bus stopping position, uh, note to bus stop, indicated when stopping at bus stop, uh, on time at bus stops, clean the bus. All that stuff is important. It all goes to your XP, guys. So that's what I mean by, you know, you kind of want to pay attention to that stuff. Bus stops. I'm not exactly sure what that means. And the cash flow, we did good. We didn't hit anything. Nobody hit us. Um, no fare dodgers. That's important. So, you know, we made $7,763 this week. Uh, income from that trip was only 76 But, hey... It's in the bank, right? So you see, I can have like 220795 I need more than that because I need to get one of those TNG buses um, to continue the missions. But again, like I say, this, this is like my own personal game. And what I will do is I want to start a new, uh, a new company. So we can kind of go through it together and, and see the missions and uh, all the, uh, the things and stuff. And we'll unlock things as we go. And as you can see on on this side here, the summary, it does show you my my other drivers. It shows me what they're making, uh, the wages, the maintenance. So, although you don't have to like bring the bus in to have it worked on, it is factored in. You know, each bus has its own kind of upkeep costs and stuff like that. So. That's a, that's a great spot to end this video. I really just wanted to do one route and show you guys. And uh, just kind of show a quick look at the game, which I don't know how quick it's going to be. I feel like I've been talking for quite a while now. But um, I like the game a lot. I've been enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed, now's a good time to subscribe because uh, I'm going to be having more of this on here. Um, definitely more Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild's not going anywhere. That's going to be, like, that's always going to be the main focus of my channel is Call of the Wild. But I do want to add some other games. I've been saying that for a long time now. It's just trying to find games that are right, that fit, that I want to play as much as I want to play Call of the Wild. And I definitely think this is going to be a good contender for that. Um, when I get a wheel, I want to put a lot more Project Cars 2 on the channel because that's a really great game as well. Um, so yeah, I think this is a really good game. It's really fun. It's different. It's not that expensive. It's not like a AAA title or anything. It's it's really good fun. They're going to be developing it. They're going to be bringing out DLCs and stuff. And uh, so yeah, like let me know in the comments what you think about it. Is this something that fix might look fun to you? 
you know, do you already have the game? If you have the game, what do you think about it? And, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great week. And we'll see you next time, guys.